to Daily Boost. This is yours truly, Dr. Charles. I am your host and I am looking forward to another exciting time with you. This is Friday Fire and I pray that you're ready for something great, something wonderful with God today. So I am very excited we have come today. Uh, by the way, today is our, our esteemed technical director's birthday, Oren's birthday. We want to wish him a very happy birthday. Oren, we want to say we love you. You know, you've been amazing and God is doing great things. And I am looking forward to all that God has this next season for you. And I know it's going to be great. I want to thank you for all the hard work you've put to get the broadcast to people around the world and what you do locally. I mean, the words cannot convey how much we love you and what God is about to do in your life. So get ready, all right? Good news, only good news coming to you. Okay, so get yourself ready. I am looking forward to, to celebrating with you. And I want to welcome all of those that have joined us today all around the world. We have um, amazing people. We have uh, beer getters here. I see Pastor Lewis is here. Pastor Lisa is here. Hallelujah. This is going to be Friday Fire. Janelle, welcome on board. We have Florence. God bless you. I'm glad you all joined me. And we have Michael Razazara. God bless you, Michael. We are glad you joined us today. So get yourself ready. It's going to be another glorious day with something new and something wonderful. And we have Chris from Dexter Iowa. Welcome on board today. We are looking forward to all the great things that God is going to do today. I want to welcome Birgit. I already said that. And um, I want you to share this with as many people as possible. And then we will be able to flow with you. We'll be able to really get going today. And uh, we've been setting up some things. We're going to go on a regular schedule very, very soon. Okay, so I want to welcome all of you. Share with people. We're going to be waiting for others to join us shortly. I'm talking about Friday fire. God's power is coming to you and is coming with ferocious love for you. You get yourself ready. So what I'm saying to you today is God is about to do something fresh and new in your world and in your life. You don't want to miss it. It is going to be glorious. We are talking about how to blossom again. How to blossom again. This is part four and it is going to be glorious all through yesterday we had a lot of things we had to do to set up things to make sure everything was fine and then we have our, our, our good schedule and things to do but i'm very excited about what god is going to do you know we're almost like um, the american tv you have a window to the world people can come behind and kind of hang out and wave and you know the
We, we have our studios, we're getting everything ready, but I hope that you enjoy today. So we are talking today about how to make a comeback after a setback. I hope that you're ready for that. I hope you're ready to make a comeback after a setback. We're talking about how your desert can blossom again. It can bloom again. We were reading the scripture from Isaiah chapter 35. I'm going to be reading that to you again just to get us started with what we're talking about. Isaiah 35 verse 1 says, The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as a rose. You will blossom. If, it, if you've been in a desert experience, it's over now. I'm here to tell you, God has something amazing and extraordinary that he wants to do for you so that you can come out of the place you have been we talked about that failure is not fatal that you can start over again those that have started before that have made mistakes god has restored and god has redeemed them one of the things i have learned to do is to know that god is a rest horror of people and a redeemer of his people he will put back value to you and he will cause you to walk under high places with him so i pray that you all ready for something good this is friday fire i i, I want to read out of the scripture verse 2 says it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing the glory of lebanon shall it is never over. And I stated to you that the seeds of the problem, the seeds of the solution is in the problem. The seeds of the solution is in the problem. Whatever you're facing, God has put a key in the midst of your problem. He makes a way of escape for you to come and experience all that he has for you to experience i pray you're getting hold of this there is nothing that has ever happened to you or whatever state you found yourself maybe you've been under attack or maybe you felt like things are not going to change but i'm here to tell you that you can't rebegin recognize it's never too late it's never too late for you to do what god has called you to do it's never too late. Remember not the former things the Bible declares. Behold, I will do a new thing. But you have to make the choice to win. You have to make the choice to win. You cannot quit on God's dreams yet. You can never quit. You see, you were never born to lose. You were born to choose. I stated that before many times. You have a choice. And I talked to you about winning with Christ, accepting his forgiveness, and uh, beginning to realize that God has called you to triumph with him. And I pray that this is going to help you, is going to help change you and change how you are looking at things. But what is the key that unlocks where you are? It begins with a simple word called attitude. Change your attitude. Make a decision, a quality decision today that you are going to do something extraordinarily different. Have a positive outlook. Begin to think you are alive again. It doesn't matter how far you've been messed up, stayed in that cocoon. Today, you are breaking forth and something new is coming out of that. Begin to think, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Begin to feed your spirit with God kind of ideas. I choose the glad news. The Bible declares that your faith becomes effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus. You have to acknowledge the good things that's in you in Christ Jesus. I pray that you understand what that is. To understand the good things God has put in you. And that's the beginning point for your miracle. It doesn't matter how long you've been in that place. You are starting afresh today. You are making a run to the top. You start walking your way to the top. And something extraordinary is taking place as I'm speaking. Realize this. That success is God's idea. Success, it's God's idea. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible says that this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But you meditate upon it day and night, that you observe to do all that he has commanded, then you will make your way prosperous 
and you will have good success. God wants you now to have very good success. Success is God's idea. So you want to begin to think about that. God is going to do a new thing. The Bible says, remember not the former things. Isaiah 43, it says, remember not the former things. Philippians chapter 3 tells you, it said, this is one thing I do, forgetting what's behind. It doesn't matter what the past has been or what you've lost. God has more ahead for you. Every day, I want to get up in the, in the morning with an excitement in my spirit. It's a new day with new possibilities that no matter what has happened in the past, it's a new day. I can do something extraordinary with God. That God and I, we are an unbeatable team. You, with God, anything is possible. Why am I saying this to you? You see, you've made a mistake. You've lost some things. You've lost some momentum. I'm here to encourage you that today you are going to begin to build that momentum that you have lost. God wants to do something extraordinary with you. What am I saying to you today? I'm going to get back to what I had in my spirit to share with you. You can blossom with God's dreams. You are a winner. Consider yourself. You are a winner and you are a winner with a choice. Choose today. Decide today that you are going to win, that you're a winner. You can choose to live or you can choose to die. You can choose to whine or you can choose to shine. You can choose to reject responsibility or you can accept God's abilities at work in you. Make a, de a decision today. Decide, I am no longer a failure. You've got to think like that. You've got to start speaking that to yourself. You've got to start, you have to start thinking afresh and thinking anything is possible. I said anything. You know, we say all things are possible, but just put it this way. Anything is possible. Apply yourself to it and God will do a miracle. The miracle begins when you trust what God says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you and something miraculous begins to take place. If you're going to seek change in your life, you have to respond to God's abilities that is locked up in you. You begin to learn what it means to become a winner with Jesus. You're winning every day. God, God at work in you is causing you to win. That means that sickness is breaking. That means that those situations that have been causing you a lot of headaches is disappearing today. You know, I realize a lot of time people want a prophetic word. They want us to teach. Them. They want us to pray for them. But I believe the best thing God wants to do is for you to learn the truth, to know the truth. And when you know the truth, you are free. You don't need prayers when you're free. You just celebrate what God has made available to you. And that's why I'm telling you this. Discover the winning edge. Discover the winning edge. What does that mean? The, you begin to discover the winning principles, the principle of winning in life by choosing to think God's thoughts. You begin to think positive things. You begin to think you have a positive attitude that you and God are hooked up for big business. You and God are hooked up for big business. That's what I've always thought, that with God and myself, I cannot fail. It's impossible for me to fail. I begin to think like that, and I can remember when I when, when I face uh, 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 some some challenges. The first thing that comes to my mind is this is an opportunity to 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 dig into God's abilities at work in me, and something beautiful begins to happen on the inside. Hallelujah! Are you with me today? And I'm praying that God's power is at work in you and is changing you today. I see Apostle Andreas, welcome on board. Gloria, God bless you. I'm glad you all joined me today. I see Atai, God bless you. I'm just glad you all joined me. Florence, God bless you. Hallelujah. You learn to win with Christ. That's what I'm talking about. Discovering the winning edge. You know, sometimes things will happen. 
people would leave, where people would attack you. They'll say all kinds of things about you. But the moment you begin to learn that God's power is at work in you, regardless of how you feel, regardless of what the situation has been, is the day you begin to develop a positive attitude and realize your hookup with God. You begin to understand that God has actually commissioned you. You are commissioned to go in the name of Jesus. You are commissioned to go. Yes, you. He has commissioned you. He has sent you. That means he has equipped you. You have to understand that you are not a dumb person. You're not ignorant. You have the intent. Intelligence, God's intelligence at work in you and you can know the things that are freely given by the Spirit of God. You can receive new ideas, fresh ideas and you can go and build something new regardless of how young or how old you are. It makes no difference to God. You begin to think new thoughts, big ideas and big things begin to happen. What am I saying? You have the intelligence and you can know the good things that God has in store for you. And you begin to think about that God has entrusted you with so much. He's put talents in you. He's put ideas in you. He's put his very life in you. And because you have those things, you begin to grow those ideas with God. You have the talent. You can grow this talent. God has put in you. The Bible declares that God's seed of love is in you. He has put that seed. You are born of an incorruptible seed, which is the word of God that, uh, that lives. It abides forever. What am I saying to you? You have been entrusted with so much from God. Every day I get up, I say, thank you, Lord, that you've entrusted me with your very life. You've entrusted me with the idea to make people's lives better. See, how do you get away from where you are? Look for hurting people and begin to, to, to heal them. You have God's importance in you now. You have the importance of God in you. You can go and show it. Not, not everybody might be excited about it. I was just watching, just before I came to be on, in the studio, I was just watching a, a, a marvelous miracle that happened in Mongolia. While I was teaching the people, this were about 5,000 people, Buddhists. And while I was teaching, Solomon and I were just watching it, glorious. And I told the people to say that they are royalty, that they come from heaven. These are Buddhists. As they were saying it, the camera just zoomed into a lady and she was weeping, saying those words. And it, it meant something so amazing to her. And while I was speaking, the people began to clap. And all of a sudden, there was a lady that had a cast. She was sitting there. I said, I've come with good news from heaven. I say to them, you might... You might be in Mongolia, but you're not from Mongolia. You are from heaven. And they were thinking, and they would clap. And then I said, let me show you. This message that we bring needs demonstration. I said, it's not enough to come with a book that says the Bible. And come and tell you what the Bible says. But I began to tell them that this, this message we bring is from heaven and that they are from heaven also. And I said, let me demonstrate. And I said, the lady over there, there was a lady with a cast. And I said to her, stand up right now. And she stood up. And I said, now, take off the cast. They began to break this heart this hard cast and this lady was completely healed and that place went crazy and I'm thinking all I can think is we have the importance to show hallelujah to reveal God's goodness to our world and the excitement of those wonderful Mongolians to see how these people are the ones now transforming their nation God is at work in you both to will and to do of his good pleasures what am i saying choose god chose you choose to win with him why do i say god chose you you are god's choice it means god must know you god must see something in you that he has made a choice he chose you you can say to yourself where you are right now i am god's choice God believes in me. God chose me. 
you can say that to yourself a thousand times. I am God's choice. Jesus said, you haven't chosen me, but I have chosen you. And I have anointed and appointed you to go. And I say, wow to that. I call that real good news. And that's good news for you today. You might have felt rejected or some kind of things must have happened. God is saying to you, regardless of the things you've experienced, you are still my choice. He chose you because God really knows you more than anybody else could ever know you. He goes on the inside of you and God shines through you. Think about that. He is glowing through you. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Wherever you go, something marvelous begins to take place. You see, I think about many times, I hear the words of my spiritual father, Dr. Till Osborne, talking to us and sharing this truth with us and he said go and produce the life that's on the inside of you wow god shines through you he glows in you he glows in you and he shows the world and th through you has power that you are a brand new person believe that i'm talking about it's time for you to blossom again it's time for you to blossom again do you know that god himself celebrates you you are a celebrity in heaven believe that go at life with enthusiasm you know somebody once said to me why are you always excited you never seem to have a a, a, a a sad day i said i just don't have time to have a sad day because god is at work in me so i just don't have the time to have a bad day hallelujah first john the bible says chapter 4 verse 4 it says great is he that is in you than he that is in the world i think about that and i get excited i don't look back at the pain or look back on the mistake i look back and i glow and i shine with him now he said the bible tells us that he causes us to try in second corinthians 2 verse 14 he causes us to triumph always god causes you to triumph always he is at work in you he is causing you to triumph right now as i'm speaking to you god is doing something new he's doing something fresh and he is at work in you hallelujah do you believe that i want you to know that god is doing something new and i want you to know he is doing it in you uh, what am i saying to you the Bible declares in Romans that you are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. You can say that to yourself, I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. Say that to yourself and something beautiful will begin to happen. You are responding every day. Each time you respond, you're responding to the opportunities that God has put those abilities in you. This is how you respond. Whenever I see a need, I want to get up there and meet that need. I want to respond to the needs around me. I want to respond to God's ability within me. I want to release that and go and help somebody. And I am healed when I heal others. I am saved when I save others. That is the principle which I live daily. I am excited about what God is doing every single day. And I think I choose to utilize God's power, God's power and gift within me. And I respond to every opportunity that, that comes around me, that surrounds me. Every single day, I want to be in a place where I'm helping people do better in life and this is what um dr till osborne used to say to us it says find a need and meet it look for a need and meet it and it says look for a hurt and heal it and we always add look for somebody going the wrong way and show them the right way home that's how you begin to make your comeback you begin to win with christ you begin to help others regardless of what you've been through 
get away from yourself and begin to help other people and i tell you my dear friends you are going to be seeing some amazing things happen in your world are you with me today you begin to you begin to find out that god believes in you and how do you do that it's very simple your choice power do you know god has given you the power to choose to win today you are winning and you're winning like no one has ever seen i love what trump will say he says we keep winning and you get tired of winning and keep winning some more i like that kind of talk that is kingdom talk hallelujah you see god is thinking through your mind he is loving through your heart get away from just focusing on yourself when you're focusing on yourself you begin to diminish and die but when you focus on other people you begin to enlarge and grow you begin to find out that God actually believes in you the Bible declares in Isaiah 35 strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees go to those people that are hurting and help them out you will get energized by releasing God's abilities in you hallelujah God helps through your hands today you know people a lot of times they think we have to do something they want to get so spiritual they want to get they said I want to pray I want to cast out them no all it takes is just loving people every day it doesn't take that much and we, I was also watching another video, oh boy, we're going to put some videos later today. I was watching another video of how I was preaching in Uganda about 20 something years ago. What glorious message. I was so excited. And I told them that when you have the dreams of God in you, even the winds and the waves will obey you. I said those things cannot stop you because there is a force being released when you're coming in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And what am I saying? I'm saying this to you to help you understand that today is the beginning of something extraordinary. This is a Friday fire and God is at work in you and he is building something incredible on the inside of you hallelujah and when i was preaching in in this was i believe in hoima in uh, in uganda many years ago and i told the people i say to them if you've been bound by the enemy come forward and then the glory of the lord exploded in that place and the people were being delivered and it was so glorious so many many people were delivered that day and they were restored to god's place and dignity came back to them hallelujah god speaks through your voice release the power of god within you hallelujah you see you are sent to help others to help you help other people that's the key don't focus on yourself focus on helping other people you see when you touch people you actually touching Jesus you touching Christ the Bible declares whatever you do to the least of this my people you've done it for me sometimes we think we just have to do something so big no 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 just do the simple things going out in the streets helping somebody going downtown helping uh, somebody move some things let Jesus be so tangible so real in you that wherever they go people can experience heaven coming to them it's very simple a lot of times we're looking for all kinds of spiritual things you can never get so spiritual than walking in love the highest height of spirituality is being revealed as a love being when you begin to love people you are the highest form of spirituality because to hate is the lowest form of spirituality to love is the captain stone the bible says and to your faith add and it goes all the way you start from faith and it says put on love on the top that is the highest height you can actually ever go because when you do that then god is at work in you hallelujah hallelujah you see what do you do? Jesus said, I was hungry and you fed me. 
I was hungry and you fed me. I hear a lot of Christians, they go to pray for power. Listen, the power of God is on the inside of you. Just go and help somebody and you're going to see that power is going to come forth. Just your kind words to people will release the power of God and something amazing will begin to happen. Hallelujah. It doesn't take a lot. It just takes the simplicity of loving people and something amazing begins to happen. You are a winner in life. You can do anything. Think like that. I can do all things. Then the second thing you want to do is you want to celebrate the world of needs around you. Have you ever gone out today to find out what the need is in your world? Have you gone by to see that guy that you pass by that is homeless and you can give them something fresh, something wonderful that can make their day? It's the simple. Uh, when I'm around a lot of Christians, I'm a lot of, lot of, around a lot of spiritual people, and I see them always trying to act as if they are so big and spiritual. Do you know what I say to them? Just love people. That's what I say to them. I just say to them, just love people. When you love people, you express the highest form of spirituality. Celebrate the world of needs around you. And how does that happen? Activate the Holy Spirit that lives in you. How is the Holy Spirit activated? By your actions. The Bible called the book of Acts, Acts of the Holy Ghost on the Apostles. Acts of the Apostles because the Apostles acted and the Holy Ghost worked with them confirming the message that they preached. It is so wonderful. It is so beautiful when you activate the Holy Spirit in you. And the other thought is understand, communicate Jesus that lives in you, that wonderful Jesus, that saving Jesus, that healing Jesus, that loving Jesus to your world. Make him practical. Don't make him religious. You know how we Christians all of a sudden we get all spiritual and religious. Oh, you're going to go to heaven. God, No, just put an arm around somebody and just love them and see what God can do. What am I saying to you? Learn to express God in the simplest form possible. Sometimes it's just a listening ear. Sometimes it's just a smile. And you can transform people and you will be transformed. You begin to blossom. The life of God in you begins to rush out and begins to blossom and wonders begin to happen. When you talk to them and communicate with them the saving Jesus, the healing Jesus, the loving Jesus, something begins to happen. You begin now to reproduce the Christ in you. You begin to reproduce the happiness that thrills your soul, that moves and heals and really enriches you. God is your spirit. God is a spirit. We are his flesh. I'm talking about blossoming again. God wants you to begin to blossom again. You see, our biggest problem is not whether God can do it, it's whether we dare to believe God to do it. A lot of times we want to do big things for God. All that God requires of us is just to do the things that's in front of us. Success is God's idea. Believe that. Success is God's idea. Hallelujah. You begin to understand this. God is saying yes to you. Yes to you. The Bible says, remember not the form of things. Behold, I do a new thing. Three things that really get me going is I, whenever I'm dealing with any situation, I want to pray, I want to praise, I want to produce. I want to praise, I want to pray, I want to produce. When I pray, I said, Lord, give me new ideas to help take my focus off the situation. Let me flow. And when I start flowing, I have solutions to that problem. And what do I do? When I praise, I change the very atmosphere in which I'm in. And what happens? I begin to produce results. It's so simple. I can tell you many times where th things seem so impossible, 
But I look through the eyes of God and I see possibilities. And I pray that this is helping you. Because I realize this, a lot of Christians, most of the time, I see pretty well, come on, Bartsuri. Most of the times, I see people trying so much to get, get all spiritual and do the big things. I realize the easiest things are the things that work the best. It doesn't take rocket science. It takes love to move mountains. Am I talking to somebody today? You learn to pray, learn to push, you learn to walk in love. Never you operate with fear and doubt. Put that behind you. Banish fear and doubt. Be bold, be strong. Put fear and doubt away from you. Don't worry about the mistakes. Don't worry about what people are going to say or not say. Don't worry about all those things. Just let Jesus shine through you. And I'm telling you every day something amazing will begin to take place. I hope that this is helping somebody today discover that you can make a comeback after a setback. Hallelujah. What am I saying? I talk to you. It's time to have a new vision. You begin to see new things. You begin to see, take your eyes off the problems and look at Jesus. Behold Jesus. You have a new vision. And when you have a new vision, you begin to review the new you. You begin to see a new kind of person. You are extraordinary. You are like nobody else in this whole white world. You are God this, you are the object of love. Do you realize how much God thinks of you? He thinks you are a big deal. <laughs> oh my goodness, when I hear religious people tell you, oh, you can't do this because of this. You know, if I don't say this, it's not gonna happen. I tell them, take a number. God thinks all the big things about me. I know how he thinks of me. He thinks wonders about me. And that's why I am communicating that to you today. You are a wonder. You are a wonder because your father is a wonder. I pray that this is helping you. You see, for me, my greatest joy is when you discover this truth and you begin to get excited about Jesus and great things begin to take place. And I know you are winning again with Christ. You are learning how to win with Christ again. Hallelujah. You learn a new vision. You have passion. Cultivate the passion and put corresponding action to it and something amazing begins to happen. What do you do? Become a person that follow, that follow through. You want to follow through every idea, every plan, every, every new thing that comes to you. Act on it immediately and see what will happen. Do you realize that the miracle you're looking for is in your actions? Without action, you cannot have miracles. If you want a miracle, put your faith in action. And incredible things will begin to happen and it begin to take place. Are you with me? Hallelujah. I see Savins here. Welcome on board, sweetie. I love you. Hallelujah. You can move any mountain in your life. You can do great things. Follow through on things. When you are. See, when you think a door is closed, look around. God has opened up all the doors. Don't worry about doors that reject you. God accepts you and you're built for something big. I want to give you today nine simple principles to win in this life. How to come from where you are. Number one, these this are nine valuable guiding principles in winning in life. The first thing is practice the act of doing for others what you want them to do for you. Be kind to people. Show them love. Show them love they cannot deny. I know sometimes you want to show them love. People are very suspicious. You know that. You, you try to love on people. The first thing they ask is why? Why are you doing that? Show them love they cannot deny. At first they will reject it. It's okay. Love is patient. You begin to be patient with people and begin to practice the art of doing something incredible for others like you want them to do it for you. That's what I'm talking about. I see Nida, welcome aboard. All of you that are watching me, you better register for Power School.
is just around the corner you have to register and something exciting is going to happen something great is going to happen you need to know that god is at work in you so practice the art of doing something for others that you want them to do for you always you want to make sure that they are doing those things for you the second thing is recognize and value the wonderful person that you are you want to value the wonderful person that you really are hallelujah you want to begin to discover you are built for something unique hallelujah so you begin to find out that god is at work in you god is at work in you that's what you need to learn that god is working in you recognize value the unique person that you really are do you realize there's no one like in the whole world there is no one like you in the whole world. You begin to win with Christ. That's what you want to do. Number three, accept responsibility for the fact that your life is and always will be what you yourself make of it through the power of God that's at work in you to make a choice. In other words, your life is based on the choices you make. Decisions decides destiny. Decisions decide destiny. Hallelujah. You have to understand that. There is an innate power of choice, of decisions, and of action. When you start acting boldly, something incredible begins to take place. Number four, absorb the concept that failure is not final believe that so maybe you didn't succeed the first time get back on and start winning it's time for you to blossom it's time for you to have that big building it's time for you to enjoy god's best you know I, whenever I come to uh, the, the embassy and we come to the studios and we are looking at all those things and the first thing I keep thinking I tell everybody everybody tells everybody we thank God for this place. We thank God has given us such an amazing place that we can actually flourish in. And I'm thinking, we're, gonna, we're thinking of all the plans and other things to do. What am I saying to you? I realize this, that whatever we, tr we, are, we are trying to do, and if it doesn't work at first, we go after it again and go after it again. I learned a secret in life. Persistence always wears off resistance. Whenever there's persistence, it will wear off any resistance in your world hallelujah believe that believe that you have something big at work in you absorb the concept that failure is not final and it's not fatal that means because you fail does not make you a failure because you made some mistakes because you started the business and it didn't work you're going to get back there and you're going to start this business and something extraordinary is going to take place i pray that you get a hold of this and run with it and God is going to do something great with you. Number five, realize that whatever is worth doing is worth giving it your best. If you're going to do something new, you want to start doing it with all of your best. Make sure you approve that which is excellent. You can tell one thing I, I will never tolerate. I always tell my team, I expect you guys to do your very best. Don't give me mediocrity. We can't allow that. What am I saying? Realize what is what doing is what doing your very best. Give God the very best. Do the very best and watch what happens. It will transform. It will, it will transcend. It will go to another dimension and you are going to be winning again. A lot of time people talk about miracle. They want to get all the supernatural things. <laughs> I will smile. The first thing I say to them is, we need to be practical. We are trying so much to be spiritual. All that God wants us to do is just be practical. How about just being practical? Let God arise in us to do something great. Hallelujah. I give you number six. Understand the true happiness. It's always having hope. Always experiencing love. And doing things to make people around you better. If you're going to blossom again, if you're going to win the life, you make the choice that the best of life, 
true happiness is always hoping tomorrow is going to be better. The next moment is going to be better. Do you know hope is eternal? The Bible says is the anchor to your soul. Hope reigns eternal. I have such incredible hope. It's going to be a better future. I know it has to be because I see the picture of what God is going to do in and through you. That sickness is broken from you. That pain is over. That confusion is over. Clarity has come and you're rising up. I see that when I see you. When I look at you, those of you that are watching me right now, all I can see, I can see through the cameras. I can see your hopes, your dreams coming back. Those big dreams you've always had. God is building those dreams again because you dare to believe. Believe what God is doing today in you. And I'm telling you, it is going to flourish. You begin to understand that true happiness is experiencing. It's experiencing love. It's always having hope and doing things to make everybody around you better. Number seven, begin to assimilate and absorb this irre irre irreversible law that you are and that you can become the tangibility, the tangible reality, and the sum and the total of the substance of what you're thinking. Do you know that you are the total of everything you've been thinking and talking? The Bible says, as a man or a woman thinks in their heart, so are they. Do you know the thoughts are the seeds of your life? And then when you release them as words, they are released into the realm of the spirit and things begin to happen. I live in a world of beauty. God loves beauty. I love to put things beautiful around me all the time. Why do I do that? I do that so that I want to experience the very best. I want to feed my spirit with an act atmosphere of wonders and beauty I like that you want to begin to you want to begin to see things happening your dreams are rising your ideas are being built that company is being built the impact you're supposed to have is being built that ministry is rising I see somebody God has given you such an insight into the prophetic begin to flourish in that prophetic gift step where you are you might not go around the world but you can go to the world around you you can go to the world around you and something marvelous will take place hallelujah are you with me today you begin to find out god is at work in you both to will and to do of his good pleasures hallelujah i see sharon is on well come on board i'm talking about begin to assimilate this irreversible law that you are and you are the tangible reality of all that you've been thinking do you know when you hang around me all you hear is positive all you hear is big dreams and i'm leaving those dreams i look at places we've been to when i started dreaming Everybody around me told me, you can't get there. I remember in Elmira, New York, and we would tell them, well, you're going to go around the world. And people kind of looked at us and kind of chuckled and said, well, how are you going to do that? You see, when I do the part that I'm supposed to do, guess what happens? God will do the miracle that he is supposed to do. We are a team. God and me, unbeatable team. You and God, unbeatable team. I say, I am in agreement with you. Something amazing is happening. So you begin to assimilate this law that every thought you have, you better choose your thoughts wisely. <laughs> you better be thinking, I am dreaming big with God. Hallelujah. That's the first thought I think about. Wow, God is at work to me. I have those big ideas of what God can do. Hallelujah. And I begin to dream big. I begin to see possibilities. I refuse to dream small. I choose to leave. I depart from small thinking. I depart from all the negative things around me. Any thought that comes contrary to God's ideas, I reject it. I just choose to be happy. I assimilate that I am the tangible reality of my thoughts. Hallelujah. I am the substance of my thinking. Hallelujah. Number eight, grasp this winning ideas that what you learn, you discover, 
your proof I know becomes the only power that you yourself can utilize in this world. In other words, seek wisdom, seek understanding, seek new ideas, and new ideas will begin to flourish. That's why I am so curious. I surround myself with new information. I want to listen to something new every day. I want to learn something new every day. As I grasp this winning idea, I can build anything. I can build the biggest things in the world. So can you. Think about when we hook up, we can do incredible things hallelujah you can do incredible things hallelujah get this ideas that god is working in you and number nine begin to bring to reality actualize god's power on the inside of you by being just very calm and confident accept your uniqueness you are not a copy of anyone else i know people sometimes we live in a world of imitations and of copies why are you going to be in the world of copy when you are born to be an original accept your uniqueness by knowing what is so distinct about you and about your purpose from God. You don't have to be like me. Be the best version of you. My job, my place is to get you so excited about all that God has called you to do so that you can go and do it. I want to see the best version of you. I don't want to see a copy of me. You can learn from me. You can imitate some things I'm doing, but you are a masterpiece. My dear friends, you are a masterpiece i want you to know that you are god's masterpiece in motion you are blossoming again you are beginning to see that the distinct purpose god has called you nobody else in the world can ever come close to that understand this by being sure that your goals are right and good for god that means whatever you want to do just go ahead and do it don't listen to the religious naysayers they will always find a reason to criticize you and tell you can't do those things i just say to them boo to those taboos i choose glad news hallelujah that's family talk hallelujah i realize that something is happening in the inside of me and some people are waiting for prayers listen it's nice to have prayer but when truth comes to you let the truth of what you're hearing today energize you to rise up beyond prophecies you become the realization of those prophetic words we are not the prophetic we are the demonstration generation hallelujah we believe in the prophetic but we are the ones that make those prophetic words come to pass do you realize this that you what you have the ideas you have are good and they are right for god they are right for people and they're right for you that's why i'm talking to you they are right for you they are right for people they are right for god hallelujah hallelujah and go forward with him and god will provide what you need he is your source he will bring to bear every promise he has made to you i smile all the time because i know how big and how rich and how wonderful god is every time i think about him he gets me so excited i said how marvelous are your works i'm thinking about me and i'm thinking about you and i say and my soul knows it very well do you know you're a masterpiece there's no human like you in the whole world you are making your comeback today your dreams are excellent exciting and exciting hallelujah believe that believe that from today something wonderful the big dreams that you've had the ideas that you've had god is at work in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure i see my daughter tanya's on bless you i'm talking about blossoming again i'm talking about how you can blossom with god's ideas you can blossom with god's very best that's what i'm talking about you find out without intimidation without inferiority without hesitation actualize those dreams tell
all the religious people to back off because God is coming through in you. The son and the daughter of the king is coming through. That's what I'm talking about today on Friday Fire. I'm talking about God's ideas are worth dreaming about. Go for God's best and you're making your comeback today. You're coming back from your setback. Whatever thing the enemy has been holding to make you feel condemned today, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. By the authority given me, all of those intimidation, all of those hesitation, any thought of inferiority, I break it from you in the name of Jesus. Any thought of past failures, I cancel it today in the name of Jesus. You are rising, you are becoming, you are in the process of becoming the very best that God has ever made. You, the dreams you have, the so Supply is coming. The people are coming. Nothing comes to you until you commit. You can be in a relationship until you're committed to it. The resources will never come. The things will never come. Be committed to these ideas. And God is going to do something incredible. The, the people you need to get the dream going, they're coming to you right now. The, 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 there's something being released in the spirit. Those people are coming to you now and they are listening to this. There's something sent, sent by the Holy Ghost. The Bible says no one comes except the Father draws. There's a drawing because the purposes of God are being made to come alive. There are people coming that have the resources you need. There are people coming that are supposed to help you build that dream. There are people coming that are supposed to help you open up those doors so that you can step in. God is at work in you. The days of being afraid is over. The days of being scared about the future is over. Your future is beautiful and your future is bright. Believe that. The people, you've been waiting for resources, you've been asking people, my word today, what I'm giving to you today, what I'm releasing to you by the Spirit of God is that everything you need for your success is around you. God is building that up in you and you are on your way to your finest. Get ready. Something is coming to you now. Those phone calls are going to come and God is weeding off the wrong people that have been coming in there with the wrong ideas to come and destroy. But God is bringing the right people that believe in you, that see you for who you really are. First class, they will never condemn God's dreams in you. They'll never speak anything negative, but they're there, there to build you up, to tell you that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Believe that today. When you believe those kind of things, something happens in your spirit. You begin to find out that instead of waiting for prayers, you are activated. You activate the Holy Ghost in you. And something begins to happen. Something miraculous begins to happen. God now is working mightily in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm talking to you today. That book is being written. That publisher is coming to you. Hallelujah. Those things, the car is coming to you. Whatever you needed from God is coming to you. God is at work in you. Hallelujah. You are rising up. The days of being fear, being afraid, and uh, the days of you just being in a place where you feel like you're in a cocoon. You begin to talk to people. You, you talk with clarity. You understand God has put people in your heart and in your life that their job is to help you get to where you ought to be. Never be afraid of those naysayers that don't believe in God's dreams in you. They'll condemn you. God is lifting you up to another dimension where you are working with first class people. Believe that today. The days of struggling are over now. The days of fighting those fight that have been won already, it's over. God is causing you to triumph always in Christ Jesus. And he is making you a fragrance of life wherever you go. Begin to believe that. When you go out, people are going to recognize the, the glory of God upon your life. Your smile will become a winning smile. When you look at people, they will know God is looking through you to them. Even people that meant to do evil, when you look at them today, they will know that you are not a natural person. You are supernatural. They will see the eyes of God when they look into your eyes. When you touch them, the power of God is going to be released to them and it's going to set them free. Believe that today. Hallelujah. God is acting 
cultivated hallelujah in you his finest his gifts his talent everything you're looking for has come to you today believe that hallelujah hallelujah i am so excited i don't want you to miss the power school of miracles as coming around we are going to be in jamaica in a couple of in a couple of weeks it is going to be a blowout meeting so get yourself ready we're going to be in a couple of places some meetings have been adjusted but you're going to learn about those things um, our international director princess Raker, is getting a lot of things going and those of you that really want to come to those meetings you got to let us know so that way we can set up the place for you to come it is going to be glorious you don't want to miss it it is going to be wonderful hallelujah hallelujah and today also is friday and we talk about partnership do you know that this we bring this to you we don't charge you there's no subscription fee we bring this to you because we believe good news is what you need there are a lot of places you can go to and listen to things but i believe that we have a unique voice that we can bring good news to you that can uplift you that can take you to higher places where you're working and victory today and that's why we want you to partner with us this is friday of uh, uh, fire and we want to encourage you as partners with us we are doing a lot of work around the world a lot of work around the world and you got to some of you will do a, a behind the scene tour very soon in the whole complex so that you can see some of the work we are doing to get the gospel out very soon you get a chance to be watching a lot of our programs being run non-stop hallelujah we're going to be doing that very soon that we constantly will be on youtube tv you'll be watching us constantly on facebook live we have different pro programming we're working on we're going to be doing some live show we're going to be doing some talk show we are setting everything in this place for all of that so get yourself ready it's almost upon us you know it takes a while to build a whole network of things but very soon we're getting those things we have a lot of things in place that we're working on so we get ourselves ready you'll be enjoying all of this we have the miracle moments that's coming on very soon we have a, a, a one minute motivation all those things it takes time to build a lot of content and that's what we're doing now but i want to thank all of you for joining us i want you to go to christlove.org and you want to sow a seed and say man of god thank you for the message today i'm excited about it i want to release my faith and i'm believing god for something write to us about what you need god to do we're going to pray with you and be partners with you we want to be partners with you and the gospel the bible says when two agree as touching anything it is done we want to agree as touching your need today and we know it is done on earth believe that today and i'm so excited thank you for watching us today joining me today i know you might be so much some of you it's past midnight and uh, you're staying up to listen to me you know i thank god for you for listening to me i hope that this is helping you and uh, carlos hallelujah that pain in your son's stomach is gone in jesus name hallelujah i rebuke that pain now go and touch his stomach and he'll be healed now in jesus name and yvonne that paralysis will never return again i commend the damage that's that i saw you i saw you spine a little it seems like there's an effusion there that thing is broken from you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i i speak to somebody i see you don't believe in god for some money that has been with hell and it's been for a couple of years and you've been wondering how that's going to come the people told you they're not going to pay you but i'm releasing that it's being released to you now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus something glorious is taking place believe that that's sickness has left you that i see another person you having this uh, diesel spell god has just healed you it's not going to come back anymore i see your body has been fine-tuned that chemical imbalance is gone and i see somebody else in your family is being healed that that hypertension is gone in the name of jesus in the name of jesus that financial strain is removed from you in the name of jesus believe that today hallelujah you want to go and you go to christlove.org you want to release a seed and we can go also you can go to the post office we can send if you can send some things uh maybe money order or you want to send uh, a check you can do that send it to christ love media p.o box 72800 72800 providence rhode island 
0907. You can see that right on your screen right there. It's right there. So I want to thank God for you. And also you can go on PayPal and be a partner with us to get this glorious gospel to the rest of the world. We go to paypal.me slash, you put my name there, Charles and Defun, and you can sow a seat. We are helping people around the world. We're constantly having people that are calling us for help. We have pastors that need, hallelujah, that <laughs> pray that sickness will not come to you ever again. No more disease spell. It is gone in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And the eye floaters are gone in Jesus' name. That back pain has left you in the name of Jesus. I just see there is a pull in the miraculous. And I see there's somebody else. You're waiting for somebody to release a car to you. It is coming to you now in the name of Jesus. I see somebody waiting for a ticket. You're believing God to go on a mission field. I need the money to be released. Somebody's going to come to you and they're going to sow a good seed into your life and it will be wonderful hallelujah hallelujah i pray that you have been blessed and uh we're going to keep things very light and easy but it's going to be wonderful this weekend it's going to be a glorious weekend i want to thank you all for joining me thank you for all the things that you've done to make sure we can get the gospel to all the world a few things to do number one you want to send your prayer request we're going to pray with you Number two, you want to share this message with other people that you believe might need to be uplifted to blossom again. The third thing you want to do is you want to sow a seed and be a partner with us. Let us come together, take this gospel to the ends of the world. That's what I'm talking about. I want to thank you all again for what a wonderful opportunity we have to share Jesus with our world. God bless you. I see David. David, are you still in? Did you? I saw you guys were enjoying Washington, D.C. without me. Okay, you got to talk. <laughs> I love you, son. It's good to see you guys. You and Maine were, were having a great time in Washington, D.C. next to the White House. You know, very soon we'll be visiting there. Hallelujah. That is the people's house. We're going to come there very soon. I want to say thank you all. Hallelujah. Vanessa, love you. Wade, love you. Yvonne, all of you. Okay, God bless you. Hallelujah. Pretty, love you. <laughs> I see Chris from Dexter. Aya, you are on board. Big it, love you. All the way from Copenhagen. Hallelujah. And Daniel, Pastor Lizzie, love you, love you, love you. Thank you all for joining us today. It is another daily dose of your daily boost. God bless you. And again, Olin, happy birthday to you. And I know you have more news, but we'll let you announce it yourself. Okay? I'm so excited. Thank you all for joining us. And I know Solomon has been doing some great job. I say kudos to him. I hope you're still awake. <laughs> I love you, son. Well, I'll talk to you guys very soon. And I'll see you again on the Daily Boost. God bless you. I'll see you soon.